Hi, we're the R&D guys at Component Supply Company. One of the most often asked questions we get is how do I cut hypodermic tubing? So we thought it might be helpful if we put together a quick video showing you one way to cut the tubing using a common rotary tool. Before we walk you through the process, let's go over the tools you'll need. You'll need safety glasses to make sure your eyes are protected. You'll need a rotary tool. In the rotary tool, you'll need, we use a diamond cutoff wheel. You'll need an abrasive wheel to take care of the burrs that are formed from the cutting. And you'll need some sort of small burr in order to clean the inside of the tube. You'll obviously need a way to measure the length of the tube. And in this case, we'll use both a Sharpie pen and a scribe to make a finer mark. And then lastly, you'll need a piece of hypodermic tubing and a way to secure it while you're cutting it. For demonstration purposes, we're going to try to cut a three and a half inch piece of tubing. But before I start, let me go over what the problem is. When you try to cut this tubing, invariably you create an angle because the tool itself gets in the way. So we're going to show you a way to get around that. All right, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the end of the tubing is straight and square. So after we've put it in the vise, we're going to take the rotary tool and we're going to cut the first end squarely. You just want to bring the tool in, snip that off. The next step is to mark your tubing where you want to make the cut. Making sure that it's even with the end of your rule, you want to put a small mark at three and a half inches. Now if you want to just cut a piece that's generally three and a half inches, that's fine. But in our case, we want it to be exactly three and a half inches. So we're going to take the Sharpie pen and we're going to darken this whole area and then we're going to take a scribe and put a very very precise mark at three and a half inches. Now we're ready to put our marked piece of tubing in the vise. Be sure to put the end that you want to keep in the vise. This is where we're going to resolve the issue of the cutter being in the way. We're going to first make a cut about a quarter of an inch longer than we wanted. And then, being sure to line up right on your mark, you'll make your final cut. Okay, we've got our piece cut. Now let's deburr it where we can use it. Using a soft buffing wheel, We'll clean the outside. We'll also take this time to clean up the Sharpie pen. That's got it where we can use the OD. Now we'll change to a burr so we can clean up the ID. simply take it and that gives us a tube that we can use in any kind of circuit we want to. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope it's been useful or helpful to you. We'll put a link below to where we get our burrs and cut off wheels. And if you have any comments or need to talk to us about anything, feel free to give us a call. Thanks. Have a nice day.